Hello and welcome to Pine Environmental Pittsburgh. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble a Sample Pro bladder pump. So with your Sample Pro bladder kit, you'll have some O-rings, a screen, a grab plate, and of course the bladder itself. So we have three different sizes of O-rings, the large, the medium, and the small. And I will show you where those go in a moment. And then we have the grab plate that sits on top, as well as the screen that goes in the side. So to start, I always like to start with putting on all of the O-rings. So we'll take the little guy, stick it in this till it sits nicely. May take a minute, but it's a bit small, it may be tricky. This one goes over and sits in that groove. Next we have the part that holds the screen, so we're going to insert the screen and you could just gently push it in until it sits flat. And then we're going to take a medium o-ring and stick that into the outside groove of this piece. Then we're going to put this small o-ring into the top in this small hole till it sits flush. Make sure that it's not bent or crimped in there. And then the large o-rings go on this piece. So we're gonna slide this over the top. You don't wanna set it in that first groove. You wanna roll it down until it fits in the slightly smaller, shorter groove. And then we're going to put one on the bottom as well. Again, don't set it in the first groove, set it in the second. There we go. All of the O-rings are on. Next, we're going to take one of the small metal balls and insert it in the side. And this is where the screen cover is going to go on. So you want to put the side that has the O-ring into the actual hole where the ball is. So if you want, you can use a little bit of water to wet the O-ring just to make it easier to fit in there. And you'll feel, you should feel it snap shut. The O-ring should be non-visible and it should be fitting in there snugly. Again, if you want to wet the O-rings with a little bit of water, that's fine. It helps them go in a little more easily. So we're going to take a ball and we're going to place one in the top as well. And then we're going to insert this metal piece on top of that. Again, make sure it sits flush. It should kind of click in and it should not be loose. Next, we're going to stick on our grab plate. You want to make sure that the pointed parts are facing down. There's also an indicator that shows what side is the top, and the notches should align with the big and small notches on the top. Same thing goes with the very top of the assembly. Um, that should snap down. Again, the grooves only go one way, and you'll have that metal piece protruding from the top. Next, we're going to take this sleeve. Um, this is where the other grooves come in, so there's a small bump inside the sleeve. You want to line that up with those grooves on the side, and if you just twist, it should slide down and lock in place. So there we go, that's locked in place. Next, we are going to put the bladder on. So this can be a little tricky, but you can use any method you'd like. Um, some people like to scrunch up the bladder itself to uh, push it down. If you have small hands, this can be a little bit tricky, um, but with a little bit of fan dangling, you can eventually get it on. Um, I like to just kind of do a gentle twisting motion until the opening of the bladder settles on the bottom of the pump. And then we're going to insert the second sleeve. Again, there's a notch and groove system. And there you go. Fully assembled Sample Pro bladder pump. Thanks for watching.